Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... T Yen oh man, we're gonna lose. T Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on the I sticks. I have the stick. And we're playing Madden 20, the Dolphamite uh, Saga. Oh, the soggiest of the dolphins. Yeah. Yeah, dude, we're cruising along, he's not bounce playbook. How are you today? Pretty good, Jonas, how about yourself, sir? Oh, dude, I wish... I like that strawberry carbonated water, and I forgot to. Yo, it. it is actually pretty good. <laughs> I know, right? It's I amazing. One, I forgot to put more in the free, fridge. I put. I always take one and put it and replace it. Yeah, I forgot. I had some sitting out. Anyways, yeah, we're we're dude. I'm good. That is good stuff. I want to try it the orange and the and the lemon with that a little bit of sweet to it. it. Yeah, dude. Oh my yeah. god, blew my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, how? Why is this getting what? I was like, this is. Yeah, I've only, this is like the third one I've had, but it's really good. Yeah, dude, it's really good. Strawberry and carbonated water. Go get it. Mm. Anyways. With uh, no zero calorie sweetener, though, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's no sugar. Yeah. yeah. I like it. When I make my coffee, uh, usually when I go to work and stuff, I always use the uh, sweet low as well. Oh, oh, you don't put in cream or sugar in it? Nah, black. Oh, There's you. Hooper on him. God, already, dang, man. He's starting off real fast. Wait, who's the... Ooh. Wow, he's came horse costed him from behind. Dude, he horse collared him. That was a face mask, oh, I guess. How you get he a ran face up, back? pulled his shoulders, and they're like face masks. I think they always just call face. They never call personal foul. That, like, no, that is a personal foul. Oh, is it? Yeah, they just it's stupid. Right, right. Yeah. I don't know anything about football. Anyways, but uh, I don't know how you can stomach so black coffee, man. Uh, okay, there's a story to that. It's gross. You have no, disgusting taste buds. I used buds? to drink energy drinks and not drink coffee, right? And then they discontinued my energy drink. And I was like, man, I don't want to go through the thing of finding a new energy drink because a lot of them are trash. They're all trash, technically. You drink those Rockstar Punched. You got me drinking those things. They're good, dude. They are good. I had two today. Wow, dude, you're really on top of me thirsty. Thirst <laughs> and they're three dollars for two. Yeah, so. I know, right? But so then I was like, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start drinking coffee black. It's cheaper, Ugh. and I hate it, so I won't drink as much of it. And now I'm like, oh, now you have, now you acquired a taste for it. Yeah, dude, just like the way I drink unsweetened tea. Now that is some mother frickin' mmm. That is disgusting. I'll drink that too. It's gross. It's it tastes like leaf water. So does wine taste like cork? It's like I just went out there and grabbed a bunch of maple leaves and just tossed them in a glass, poured this went over to the tap and just poured it on there and like here, it tastes like dirty leaf water, man. Wow, what's our topic? Sweet tea. We're having a topic, man. We're talking. We're topic. Damn it, dude. We'll come up with a topic uh, organically. Coffee? Yeah. 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 Sure, Great whatever. Start. Fine. Nice Cappuccino, Jonas. Game. How do you like no. it? <laughs> I don't drink caffeinated beverages, in, but I will have one every once in a while. I mean, coffee, rock stars, those all have caffeine in them. Okay, well, so? You said you don't do it often. You had two today. All right, well, you know what, Jonas. And Jones coffee today. Fine, I drink coffee every GD morning. But that's only because they want me at work at 8 o'clock. It's ridiculous. It's not natural for people to be up that early, Jonas. I'm, I'm a freaking nocturnal. You know, I think maybe that might have something to do with my with my mood. To be 100% really? honestly, yeah. Because I've. That's a that's a topic. Just having a conversation. Trying to put you in a box, right? No, you're trying to put me in a box. I think that might have an effect on my mood. Is that I've. Uh, Eternal for so long, and now I'm just kind of like over the last two years, I've been working day shift, like yeah. a, like a day walking slave. Wow. Yeah, Jonas. Wow, dude, that's a really harsh that deep. reality you got going on in your life right now. <laughs> like a day walking slave, huh? <laughs> That's what I'm sorry, but that's how your life has turned out, friend. I wonder if I did go back to like night shift, Jones. You never work night shift, though. No, I never have. I used to work like when I worked at Blockbuster, I would work like four to midnight or four to, or five to one a.m. or something, but never like so. I would get out of there at like one thirty at the latest. Yeah, uh, that's the latest I ever worked anywhere. Like uh, like ever since I stopped working at Sears, essentially, I've been working night shift because I went my first job was actually at a grocery store and I would stock the shelves overnight I, yeah and I would stock the shelves overnight and then a bunch of the guys like had a problem with me because apparently I wasn't doing a good enough job whatever I've come to terms with the fact that they were probably racist um were you doing a bad job 
Not to my okay. knowledge, man. I was definitely trying. It's not like I was not putting effort into it. It's just that they just were like, for some reason, they just didn't like me is what I think it was. Because I would stock sh- and then I would come back and somebody would have taken something. And they'd be like, hey, man, you got to you gotta be more careful when you're stocking these things. You got to go faster. I'm like, man, that's my D. I've been here for like three days. What do you expect me to do? You're like, um, I stocked it. Someone bought it. Yeah. I'm like, because you're 40 years old, you've been working here for 15 years stocking the shelves and you're, you're just like supermarket sweep with it in reverse. Doesn't mean that I'm just going to come in. <laughs> supermarket sweep in reverse. I like it. Jonas, man, this is all top of the note. I love that. I love that show. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I'm, I'm just, I've come to terms with the fact that they are probably racist. I mean, it was an Ash so whatever. Yeah, dude, there's definitely some <laughs> <laughs> Definitely encountered it, but uh, yeah, that was my first gig, and that was overnight. And then I've kind of just like worked overnight for steadily for like probably like twenty years of my life. Why is this guy trying? It was like the first time in my life I've ever worked day shift. I know, and it's funny. Like I remember when you moved here, you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll pick this up because like it's like basically a guaranteed thing. And like, but I'm definitely gonna like, try to get back on it. Oh yeah. And then here we are, like two minutes, two years later. Well, yo, son, I'm gonna let you know right now, man. All of my all of my stuff is in order, and I'm very seriously contemplating uh, repositioning. Um, I'm well. Well aware, I just want to get into work, man. Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> but I'm aware of the benefits that I have at the place where I work, and I honestly do not know if it a fact that I would prefer to sleep during different hours of the day. It's kind of how I feel about my job because I work from home. Yeah. And I'm like, I, would I love to do something else? Absolutely. But like the benefits of like working from home and not having to commute and not using gas and being as soon as I get off work and like all that other stuff mm-hmm. and like i don't have to use the phone at work like very like yeah yours is cushy thing. right it's, like, it's not bad i mean granted some days i work my butt off dude like i'm yeah. busy as me but all the perks of like the job are great yeah and i don't make bad money i get great vacation great. it's just like but there's nothing else at this company i want to do so it's like i either stay here or yeah which is why i've like kind of uh got to the point where i just accepted that this is my means to pay the bills and I can use my time to do other things outside. That's where I get my satisfaction. Hmm. If only I had the energy to do so. Yeah, I know. Right? I, I expend a lot of energy, man. There's a lot of customer service. Like, honestly, it's 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 kind of crazy because I think where you would probably excel had you like the, uh, of course, like the schooling and everything. If I would have went to like the medical field. Like yeah, that. you you would excel in in my position way more than I do, and I feel like I would excel. <laughs> I would excel in in your predicament and just type the people. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, I type an email all day long, man. Oh yeah, I could do that. I could type up some funny stuff, dude. I'd just be sending like memes all day. Sending memes all day. They're like, hey, I need. And you just send them like the brothers barbecue from Friday meme. <laughs> barbecue so good, make me slap your mama. It's not. A- I would just send them like the hang on, hang in there cat maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the OS. You get all those cats hanging from a wire. Yeah. A wire. yeah. I feel you. But uh, yeah. So that that's and honestly, I think it may open my eyes, man. Maybe that is. Yeah, that might have something to do with it. Yeah, I don't know, man. But yeah, I mean, we'll figure out where to record if you work nights. Because I effing hate working. Bitch. We just deal with way too many people. Um, like at night, you don't be like, do deal with people. Mm. Like, or a very limited amount. Mm. Yeah. I feel you, man. Like, if, yeah. Yeah, I got kind of used to that, man. Because I remember just going to work, dude, popping in my headphones and just. And I, I actually got more done just popping in my headphones, listening to music, listening to podcasts, and I would just work like throughout the entire night. Like I have no problem with initiative and getting tasks done. I prefer I'm kind of a task oriented person. If you give me a task, give me a time frame, I can get that issue. Done. Right, and you prefer to work independently and not have someone watching yes. over you and like yes. do your work and be good. Yes. But like customer service is not fun. <laughs> no, dude, it's not. I um, Cause customers suck. Yeah, I'm really glad that I now deal like my like with my employment. I deal with other employees. 
Like, yeah. that's my custom. Yeah. Yeah. So, so no one's ever a D oh, because, like, we're all working on the same team. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I have, I have a pretty good support structure at work, too, man, but it doesn't really change the fact that I'm just like. <laughs> wow, we're really talking about work right now. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm unfulfilled or anything. Like, yeah, but we're not like we, going into like the intricacies of our job. Gee darn it, Jonas. You like Swan stole that. I know, man. He's excited wow, too. You see, I'll let him have it for all that work. They're trying, man. You see him? Yeah, I saw him, dude. He's, he smells. <laughs> All right, Jonas, uh, dream job. We just talked about this. Did we? Yeah. Okay, Jonas, most hated job you've ever had. I've only had a handful of jobs. Well, there's got to be one that you dislike oh, more than the other one. Job, uh, I did get a job one time. I only worked one shift. I don't even think I ever picked up a paycheck. Yeah. They were like, it was like one of those jobs where like you call and like try to sell people something and they want you to stick on the script. Like, and it's just uh, like, it's just like, it's just like, hello, sir. I'm calling about your, what, I don't even remember what it was, or I don't remember mm -hmm. anything. And I remember, and what I, the only thing I remember about it is, oh, we were doing, uh, it was for the Fraternal Order of Police, collecting donations for the FOP. Really? And I remember they were all excited about me because my first day I got a hundred dollar donation. Oh. And I didn't do anything. I literally just read the script. And the guy was like, sure, I'll give you a hundred dollars. And the guy, the, like the, the guy who ran it, was like he was like, like thought I was like the next big thing, and I like didn't come back the next day. I was like, <laughs> I was like, nah, dog, I'm good. That reminds me, Jonas, of a time I had where I just lost a job. I can't even remember why. And I was looking in the newspaper because they had newspapers yeah, yeah, yeah. When, <laughs> at one point in time. Do that, yeah. And uh, I found this one that was just like door to door salesman. Oh wow! And I was Did you like, get seduced by an old lady in a robe. No, no, I didn't get seduced, <laughs> but eventually I, I went to this office building, and there was like a bunch of people, and everybody was like cheering and stuff, and they had like this bell you could ring and everything, and I was like, okay, this is weird. And I'm like sitting in front of the guy, and I'm already like, this is kind of weird. I don't know if this yeah, yeah. is the type of job I want. And uh, he's like, all right, I'm gonna have you follow Brandon today, and like we get into Brandon's like uh, busted up Chevy Cavalier. And we drive out to this rich neighborhood, and Brandon goes in his trunk, and he pulls out, like, a big stack of Subway coupons. Subway coupons? Yeah. Like for Subway Jared the Petty? Yeah, but the, the okay. Petty. So there was, like, a bunch of Subway coupon booklets. And he was like, all right, we're going to go door to door and try to sell these. I was like, how much are these things? He was like, uh, 25 bucks. I'm like, who the F is going to buy 25 bucks worth of Subway from somebody knocking on their door? He was like, you'd be surprised, dude. So we started walking around this neighborhood, Jonas. We walked for eight hours. Just going door to door and asking people if they want to buy Subway coupons? Yes, yes. And guess how many we sold? None. No, we sold some. We sold about five in eight hours and then i asked this guy uh towards the end of the day i'm like uh so how much do you get paid for doing this he was like well it's kind of based on commissions so whatever you sell you know you make a you make a profit off of that I'm like you only made 125 bucks all day bro now jonas i've never been a dumb man but i recognize a pyramid scheme when i see one i might not be, i mean i should say i'm not the smartest man but i recognize a pyramid scheme one so he would sell $125 worth of coupon books and he would get $12. Most likely. So he worked eight hours for $12. Yes. And of course, you know me, I'm going to dive deep into Brandon's home life. And I found out that Brandon lives in his mom's basement. Brandon was 25 years old, lived in his mom. Brandon had just been able to afford a 40 inch TV and he was excited. And I was like, this is not the life for me. Yeah. And then as I left, I saw as they brought in a young lady and she was going to experience the same thing that I experienced. And then you like, you and then it was funny because after I went through that came the interview. So I'm oh, like, so you, you had to do that all before you even got to interview. Yeah, it was just like a ride along. It's a long ride. along. It was nuts. And I didn't make any money from doing it. Yeah, right? So then the interview comes. So I'm sitting in the office and I'm like, there's no way I'm coming back. So I just had to socially engineer this guy. He starts asking me questions about like math and stuff. And I'm just like giving him all the wrong answers. 
And then he's like, uh, have you ever been in any crimes or anything? And I'm like, well, you know, there was that one time, dude. But I, I think I think the case got, <laughs> got dropped. I'm just like saying whatever, dude, just to hopefully be like, well, I don't know if you're going to work out. This dude was like, oh, well, can you show up tomorrow? I was like, oh, yeah, I'll be here, dude. Needless to say, I did not go back. And that reminds me of the time I was like 20 years old and I was living for work. Yeah. And I found a, a advertisement for a job to be like a DJ. Like for like weddings and things like that. And you were like, I got this. I was like, I'm in. So I was, I really wanted a job. So I was like, I drove all the way from Youngstown to Cleveland to interview for this job. And I go to this like a building complex. And I go in, and like it's in like a like a office, and but go, like it's really weird, and, and like there's not really a lot going on in the office at all. There's just one guy, and like I go back, and we're talking, he's interviewing me, and he's telling me all this stuff about how great it is, and all this stuff. And all this stuff. Yeah, that sounds great. And then we go through the interview, and then he goes, "All right, you seem I mean, like you're doing like, all right. You seem like you'd be all right for the job. Let me just ask you a question." What's the question? I need he just. He's like, what kind of drugs do you do, man? What the frick? Right. No crap. This is a job. This is a true story. And I was just like, I was, just, I was so caught off guard. I was like, like, I don't know. So like, and I've never done a drug in my life. So I was like, I don't do any drugs, sir. And then he said, he goes, he goes, oh, he's like, oh man, that's cool. He goes, I do meth. So I can keep myself up, you know, sometimes it's like late nights. What and this is way hell? back, like, before meth was, like, an epidemic. So I don't think, like, it was known how bad it was. But, like, I knew enough that, like, when he said he did crystal meth, I was like, oh. And then I left, and the dude called me so many times to come and, like, pick up equipment and start working. And I, like, didn't ever answer his calls, obviously, because he was a meth head. I think it was a sting. <clears throat> it sounds to me almost like a sting, but I don't know about the calls afterwards. That's kind of weird. He was weird. like, call. He called me at least like six times, left me messages like, "Hey man, really want to get this started? When can you get up here? Do you have a, you got your vehicle? You know, pick up this equipment." Like, I was what? Like, I was like, "Yo, he was transport mess, Jonas." Yeah, all my all my DJ gear would have just been filled with crystal, dude. You were gonna be a meth mule. Ah, uh, dude, I ran like the dick. Dude, you could have been a pro meth mule. Oh, great. That's a missed opportunity. Yeah. He's probably dead. Next week. Or he has no teeth. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. Yeah. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, gumming it. All right. No, I'm Tom Brady. That's it. So. All right, everybody. That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our stupid content. That'll it's do not it for stupid, us. Sean Brandon Gordon, alongside and uh, if you've already Davis, done that, share it with your friends because if you don't share, we don't share. And I love sharing with you. Uh, Jonas. And TNT Dynamite. We are. Uh,